the one big thing is the question that everybody wants to know, why and when are batteries getting cheaper? Presented by Your Energy Answers. I've gone around the show here, Smart Energy 23. Really what a lot of people are interested in, what's the future of batteries, how batteries look. So let's see what we can find out. Now, let's talk about batteries quickly. Are you starting to install them more and more or is there still no interest because they're too expensive? What's the story? The answer is more and more. A number of reasons, Marcus. In our area, there's a lot of new building coming on. People are buying battery solar solution right at the start, just burying that cost in their mortgage. And people are concerned. You know, we're all seeing the price of export coming down. We're all seeing the price of energy going up. There wouldn't be a customer I go to that doesn't talk about a battery these days. Where do we go from here in terms of battery storage? The answer is, the floor here is representative of the number of batteries that we can see on this floor show at the Smart Energy Council conference in 2023. We're seeing obviously a lot of batteries coming to market. There will be a whole pile more, especially with Chris Bowen's announcements of backing for battery manufacturing in Australia. The demand for batteries will be sky high. Leo, how long have you been in batteries? Uh, more than 10 years. Okay, yeah. so you actually know a lot, do you? Uh, I do, yes. Oh, great, great. So, because I know very little, okay? Oh, you're the expert. No, <laughs> I, I know nothing. I mean, these things are seem to be built like a tank, the weight of a tank. What can go wrong with a lithium-ion battery? Like all battery, lithium batteries is like over-discharging. Sometimes, once there is a continuous raining days and you use all of the battery power, turn it off. Wait until the sun comes out to recharge the system. Don't leave a flat battery, just leave it for a few weeks. It can die, really die. Okay, I'm here at the Sonnen stand. Being German, I know Sonnen is the sun. This is a battery, isn't it? Dude, he's a genius. The one big thing is, the question that everybody wants to know, why and when are batteries getting cheaper? Well, we haven't seen a decrease in price in, in the components that we use. Lithium ion phosphate, which is a chemistry we use, is a bit more expensive than manganese cobalt, for example, because they use that more in, in motor vehicles. You know, there's been supply chain challenges and all those sorts of things. So yeah, I, I don't think you'll see the, the drop in batteries prices alone, like, like we have in solar panels and, and everything else. I think they'll be reasonably constant. Are batteries going to come down? Probably not. Like when, we're, when we're talking about lithium batteries, you know, they're, a, they're now a highly desired product. Because of the rare earths within the products, it means that, you know, it's hard to come back buy that product and it's going to continue to remain at that higher price. What we've got to wait for is the newer products coming through and I did mention sodium ion. The reason I mentioned that product is the fact that they are coming through two of the most abundant elements on earth. You've got sodium and you've got carbon are the main elements in the battery. The actual production of the battery is cost the same to build and build the same process as a lithium, but the base metal, the base unit is 30% cheaper to build. So that's where the changes will come in, in is in other technologies, because lithium batteries I can't see coming down. What's the story? When are battery prices coming down? It's all regarding demand and supply. Electric vehicles, they consume most of the battery cells. Our energy storage is just like 1% or 2%. I would say we can expect slightly uh, cost down for the batteries in two or three years, but I wouldn't say there will be a remarkable cut down on the cost. When LG, I was fortunate enough to travel with LG and we went through the LG Chem factory, one of my big takeouts was how many batteries that LG Chem were making for cars versus residential. And if that's across the board, then the fight for resources is going to be big. So we're not necessarily going to see cheaper residential batteries because they're all going to go into the cars because the car growth is going to go crazy. That my thoughts, anyway. Now, since we filmed this show, the lithium prices have actually collapsed. It's kind of good news because even though EVs are taking off, they're not taking off in the numbers that EV manufacturers expected. So now there's a lot of lithium in the market. So suddenly now here in the middle of 2024, we might actually see home storage systems come down in prices. Let's all hope so. Because more batteries means more grid stability and we need them to absorb all the excess solar in the middle of the day. Go batteries! Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.